this is Dr. Hassan. I'm glad that you are watching my video for uh, 3D design. So I prepared this tutorial to show you how easy it is to create a, a 3D solid model, which later on you can use it for 3D printing, you can use it for animation or any other uh, types of applications. So there's a tutorial under this video that you can actually follow that tutorial. First of all, type in the address thinkercad.com. Then I'm, I'm guessing that you are you don't already have access to it. If you don't have already access to it, there's a signing on the top right corner of the screen. So I click on sign in. Then you can sign in with different different ways. So I suggest you to sign in with Google. So when you sign in with Google, you can actually use your Hotmail and then log in into that. For instance, for, I don't have a Hotmail, I just use my Gmail for this purpose. Then it will bring you to a Tinkercad screen. In the Tinkercad screen, we have the first one on the left side, we have 3D design, then we have circuits, we have code blocks and lessons. So I like you to click on the 3D design and then click on create a new design. Okay, what we want to design. So we want to design something like a plaque like this that we have HFC 3D on the top and then we have a base for it. In the base, there is a hole like a heart shape hole. So for this purpose, I'm assuming we need to have three components. One, a text like HFC 3D. We need to have a base, a rectangular base and empty heart. So I like to show you how you can create that and then how you can put them together. So I'm in an, in an environment where I can actually create the object. This is called work plane. The blue surface here, which is a grid, this is called work plane. So I'm going to go to the tutorial, which is actually the very last page of this tutorial. Now, what you need to do, first of all, you need to create a text. So navigate on the right side to find the text. So once you find the text, it's here, you can actually drag and drop it. So I'm going to drag it here and drop it. Once you drop it, you can see down here, you can change the text. So now I'm going to change the text to HFC. And then I'm going to put a couple of spaces there because uh, these spaces will be used for that heart, which was empty in there, 3D. There you go. So I created the text. Once I create a text, you can just click somewhere else and that's the text I have. So, you know, in geometry, we have different work plan or specifically, if you just look at one box in a box, you can see width, you can see height and you can see depth. So in this view, we are right now something between front view and top view. So what I want to do, if you look into HFC online, HFC online was actually vertical was not flat on the surface there are two things that we use one of them is the left click which you can actually select and move the object around that's what i'm doing right now and then the other one is the right click the right click will allow you to rotate the surface like if you click the right click now you can see i can rotate the surface look at underneath that and do much more stuff so click on hfc 3d then you can see different arrows. One arrow here will allow me to rotate it on this surface. That's not what I'm interested in. And then I'm going to look into, I need to find an arrow that allow me to rotate it vertically. You can see I found it here, this side. Now you can click on this arrow and then you can give it a degree. So I'm going to rotate this for 90 degree. So I made it vertical. Now, once you waited, made it vertical, you can actually zoom in. I'm going to use the right click and rotate it to see how you can see some of this HFC 3D is underneath. So for now, I don't need this. So I'm going to, I'm going to grab this thing and bring it up. Sorry, kind of play with the dimension by mistake. So in order to bring it up, you can use this arrow here. This arrow up will bring the object up. Now let me just to right click and rotate again. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have a rectangular base for this. 
So to create a rectangular base, so I'm going to click on a box here and drag the box inside the work plane. So there are different dimensions on the box. Now you can click here, click on this black dots and then you can actually elongate it this way. You can elongate it the other way. Now I don't know how much the height of this box is, so I right click and rotate. Now you will see the box is too much thick. So I can click on it and then I can make it smaller. So there is an option that you can put dimension there. Like for instance, you can click here and then dimension you can put, I like the height to be five millimeter. Then we have a base right now. Uh, and then I'm, I wanna go again one more time. Right click and rotate. You see the box is slightly smaller for the HFC 3D that I have. So make the box slightly larger in different dimensions. Now it's looking good. So let's just bring the HFC 3D over it. This is a top view. So I'm looking from the top. Now let's click. Again, there, there are different views. You can actually use the cube on the side to rotate it or you can use the right click to rotate. So take this one down. Uh, in order to bring it down, I'm gonna find the arrow here. Use this arrow to bring this one all the way down and then drop it. So just to make sure that I'm not, let's just look in from the front. Yeah, this is totally attached to it. Next thing that I need to do, I need to put the heart here. So I'm gonna click on HFC 3D, give a little bit more spaces between 3D and HFC. There you go. Now I need to find the heart. Let's go and find the heart, which is here. Now, when you click on the heart to bring it inside, which right now that's what I'm doing, it has different options. You can see there's a solid and there's a hole. So hole will remove the material. So I want to use the hole instead of solid. Then I'm going to go to the top view just to look at how big the heart is. Then I can move the heart around and then make it slightly smaller. And there you go. I'm done. I'm done with this 3D design. So let's just look at it one more time. Yeah, the hole coming all the way down. And then once you are done, if you want to export it for 3D printing or design for animation or anything else, you can click on export and then you can export it as STL, which is generally a format for using objects. So if I click on this, sorry, look like I already just export the heart because the heart was selected. I need to select just the, the, the view has to be like this. So then export, it's STL. And this is how the old design look like. Thank you for watching this video 